Hey guys, it's Kayla and today I'm going to be doing an updated dollhouse tour for 2017. So I will put some information about the dollhouse itself in the description just so this video isn't super long and you can read that if you're interested. Let's get started with the, I don't know what to call it. This is where I store my clothing, like it's all in this our generation wardrobe thing. And my shoes are down here. Um, yeah, that's where I keep the clothing. Yeah, anyway, this is from our generation, the poster's on it. That's from American Girl, and then those two I made. And on those wall, there's my, um, hospital things, like certificate things. And here, there's just random stuff. Mini dolls, all the random doll things. This is where I keep my hair stuff. And this is the salon chair from American Girl that I got for Christmas. Moving on to the kitchen and living room. So this is the living room section of this floor. In the living room, there's, here's the couch. Um, I got the bed frame, well it's a bed, but I use it as a couch. I got the frame and the mattresses from one grandma in the summer and the other grandma and I made the bedding, so that's where it's from. Very cute. And on the wall above it, there's my Clelia G posters that I ordered off Etsy. They're all signed, which is pretty awesome. In the corner is my locker with a plant on top from our generation. Let me open it. Yeah, keep bags and stuff. And then this is the really bad fireplace that I started to make, but as you can tell, I did not finish. And by the fact that it's not colored. Anyway, above it, they're on top actually, there is a duck and um, a cupcake ornament. And then on the wall, there's some of my favorite YouTubers and Instagrammers and stuff. And then I'm in there somewhere. Yep, there's me. So this is the kitchen section. Um, the kitchen set is from our generation. I'm 90% sure that you've seen it on YouTube somewhere else. Literally, half the people on AG YouTube have this one or in a different color, but it's the same. I'm not going in depth because that would take a long time. But over here, it this is, I think it's the locker box, but I don't know for sure. That is from American Girl. That came with the kitchen. That laptop is Lainey's. And then there's a bunch of AG and homemade books in there. And that is just a box that I use sometimes. Yeah. And under the couch, I think there's a dog. Yep, there's Grace. And then on the wall above the, I don't know, is this old picture that I drew of my doll collection in early 2015. And then over there, there's a sign that says kitchen and living room, food, TV, force family fun, which is from a Wacky Waffles video. And then my username. Bottom floor and um, thingy overview. This second floor is the home to six dolls, as you can tell right here. Put all their names right there. And so, let's get started inside the room. Here's the names, and then right here is the nightstand, which is one of those drawer sets from Target. I keep all their pajamas in it. It does me in Kenzie's drawer, Grace and Abby's, and Kit and Alexis. And then on top there's just like cats and a Westie and a Lego kitty and Kenzie's glasses, a sign with a doily underneath, which these signs are supposed to have stuff on it, but I just haven't gotten around to it. And then they have another sign, but it's missing a couple of dolls, so that's great. The bunk bed and all the bedding on top of it, including this mattress, are made by my grandparents. Um, this is me and Kenzie's bunk. 
yeah, they're the welcome signs. And then this is Grace and Abby's bunk, and there's Abby's Unicorn University sign. And the Grace sign from down there is supposed to be up here, but it fell, so didn't make it back. And then these are some, like, bead necklaces from a camp that I went to. And there's supposed to be one of these little coconut cards on each side, but they all fell, so that's fun. And, like, right by the bunk bed, there's this gymnastics mat, which is Mia's. I don't really know where it's from, to be completely honest. I don't remember, but she has a matching leotard. And then over here is the overflowing random assorted stuff bucket, which has random assorted stuff in it. Very random and assorted. And then on the wall right above there is this awkward melody sign, which really needs to be moved because it's really low. And my benefit sale ticket. And then here is Kit and Alexis's nightstand with the remaining coconuts that fell. This life is perfect sign by the cat. Another sign, the kid's blankie's right here. I think that's her blankie, maybe not. I'm pretty sure their nightstand is the Pomeranian box. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, Pomeranian puppy, I think. This is Kit's bed. Um, Alexis sleeps on this trundle because, yeah, I have kind of an unfortunate bedroom situation in here. I just haven't worked with it a ton. Yeah, this is one of the, um, hotel beds that you get with like a partnering hotel. I got this when I got Ruthie. And then Mini Mary Ellen. Oh. Up here is a sign from Pink Sparkles AG's Etsy from when I ordered something and they're like two years ago. A Mixy Vixy 7 sign, Basil Mentos, their welcome signs. This was on Alexis at the benefit sale so I kept it. There's also two little doggos in here. This is coconut. Actually, this is Coco, I think. Yeah, this is Coco. Coco the doggo. And then here's Puffball. Or Fluffball, not Puffball, whoops. This is Fluffball, who we call Fluff. Yeah. Second floor overview. And this is the third floor, which I'm gonna try to not use a stool, but if I have to, I will, and yeah, but you may get some really bad views of this. Again, the bedding is made by my grandparents and the beds themselves. And, yeah. Starting on this side of the room, there is um, a music stand that came with the violin set. And then I taped a melody sign to it because I had a bunch of extras. Not sure where they came from, actually. And then Harper's guitar case with the guitar in it. Above their bed, there's a random sign and the design that's on Harper's t-shirt that I made. And Jenna and Harper's welcome signs are also above their bed. In the, in the other storage container, there's, um, this one's also from Target, there's Harper and Jenna, Ruthie and Lady, and then random stuff with a bunch of glasses in there, actually. On top, there's another sign with nothing on it. Behind that is their bedroom sign. Yeah. Next to the nightstand, there's um, Lulu sitting on this like camping set cushion thing that I got from like 2009. And then back there is Lainey's violin. And then above their bed, there's a coconut. There should be another one. They're getting cards, but it fell too because they're not staying up well. And then they have their welcome signs right above the bed. Underneath the bed is just a box that I don't know where else to put. And there's also Praline, which is Jenna's cat. I almost called it a dog. And then this is Coconut. The really old, gross, matted coconut. They also have their names on the wall type thing. So thank you for watching my dollhouse tour. I hope you found it interesting and not really long and boring the episode of interesting so thank you for watching um yeah this is my dollhouse information will be in the description box and i can also link my other dollhouse tour because i made one i think it was in the fall i think it was in october or november and i can also link the video of 
setting up the dollhouse and making it, and also the cleaning and resetting up video from a couple weeks ago. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you peepals next week. Fluff.